What's up, everyone? D Crack here. So, all right, guys, I think it's actually been like a couple weeks since I've done a scary reaction. I think the last scary reaction I might have done might have been with you, MF. Um, yep. It's been at least like one or two weeks, right? Yeah, at least. But we're going to check out a video called I Almost Got Kidnapped by Strangers with using online transaction is that what it says yep yeah and you want to say the name of the channel give them a shout out make sure and go check them out you want to say mf um wainsey entertainment if, I, yeah. if i'm if i'm butchering that i'm sorry yeah wancy entertainment they have over five hundred thousand subscribers so awesome this is their video so big shout out to them we'll have a link to this video down below make sure and go check out their channel but all right we're gonna check this out you ready mf yes i am Three, two, one, play. Oh, you got you got to have that creepy music. It's always that I'm dark piano. And this happened five years ago when I was 19. I was conducting an online transaction on a site called Alx, which is similar to Craigslist. It's an online oh, app geez. where you can see items being sold I've by never heard strangers. of that. Me neither. Sorry, so have you? you? Is make no. Call and meet up. I was looking for a cheap sweater for my trip to Japan. Always the meet week. in a public place, After bro. After several minutes of scrolling, I came across right? an ad with exactly mm -hmm. what I was looking for: a Korean-style female fur sweater for just 300 pesos, about six dollars. It was perfect. I had issue with it. The meetup point was at the LRT train station at 8 p.m. because the seller was too busy at work. That's a little suspect. <laughs> I decided what the <laughs> it's heck? Like, can we meet it's late? Public place anyway. Train station. <laughs> I called the owner and we had a quick convo. He sounded like a strict guy, but I asked him when we could meet up. He responded, tonight at 8 p.m. sharp. Oh God. I said, sure. But this recklessness of mine is what I regret the most. Dude, he's probably using a burner phone too, so they can't trace his phone. It was probably. really empty. And I was sure I was the only person in the station. Hell no. It was How dumb can you November, be? No offense, lady, and but... I eagerly awaited warming myself with my coat. Honestly, I'm the kind of girl who's comfortable wearing a sweater even when it's hot. What? I was sitting on a bench when the clock ticked 8 o'clock, when suddenly someone covered half of my face with a scarf with a really strange scent. I fell unconscious. Chloroform, bro. As I woke yep. up, what I it found is. myself in a van with four guys. No, my no. Uh-uh. I asked the man what they wanted and to please let me go. Dude, this is like some deep web crap. Tears began to fall yeah. from my eyes. But then one of the guys touched my face and said, It's our first time ever tasting a beautiful girl like you. Cannibals, bro. I kept no. On crying and shouted, no. Please, I want to go home. Please. The guy next to me choked me, shouting that I needed to shut up. I tried to resist, but my eyes started to roll back in my head. He stopped. But it was taking a long time for me to catch my breath. I looked out the window and saw a checkpoint lane. For the first time in my life, I was so glad that the authorities had permission to check the van. But the guy next to me reached for a no, gun. No, dude, dude, really no. Gun. Knowing this was my only chance, I found the strength to shout and cried out, Officer, please help. They have a gun. The two officers immediately grabbed their guns. One shooting at the tires, oh, no. the other aiming for the man next to me. The officer shot him in the head. Oh! I never thought no, I'd witness such no. a thing in my life. What? One of the officers carried me out of the van, oh. and I passed out moments later. I woke up the next day in a hospital bed. My parents were there, crying and asking me what happened. I told them the truth. I don't blame the officer to you, bro. Online. No. But I suddenly snapped. I cried and cried, saying, please help. Please help. Since then, I've had to go to a psychiatrist to recover from mental instability Damn, and anxiety. Damn, I bet. Jeez. Yeah. I should go without saying, but I never, ever want to buy anything online ever again. Ever. Unless it's through Amazon or well, eBay. Wow, I... To be honest, big shout out to Wan C Entertainment. Like I said, I hope we're pronouncing that right. This is, I think this is the first time or first time I've ever watched a video of theirs. I thought it was very well done. It, it was really well done. It was creepy. I wasn't expecting the blood splatter. Cheese. I mean, it's cartoon <laughs> though. So, <laughs> but that was, I almost got kidnapped by strangers with using online transaction. Dude, 
she's so lucky there was like a police stop, right? Yeah, a checkpoint. She, she would have been dead. Man. Or God knows what. Well, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, leave a comment down below. Smash the like button. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure and click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, peace.